Right, we're going to look at something called the Puppet Warp Tool. This tool allows you to distort in a very organic and natural way anything. But what we have here is a map of Africa and we have a whole lot of words uh, from African languages uh, meaning hello, uh, including English hello and Zulu, uh, Sawubona. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these words into the shape of Africa by warping and distorting them. I have converted all of this text into outlines and I have grouped them into individual words. So I'm going to take the first word and I'm just going to make it big like that. And then I'm going to go to the puppet pin tool, which is here, puppet warp tool. And it's automatically going to put in some pins for me for this text uh, but what I want to do if you look a bit closer here it's got a mesh over the letters I want the mesh to join together because at the moment if I move a pin you can see it's only adjusting one letter so I want it to adjust everything together so I'm going to up here under expand mesh I'm just going to increase the size of that mesh so that everything kind of melds together so now what happens is I can now very organically adjust this word. So I'm going to so click on that pin and remove it and then I'm just going to start shaping the letters by clicking and dragging. So click to add a pin and then you can just drag the word around and place it into the map of Africa. Okay, So that's one done. Now let's take the next one and whoops I didn't want to take Africa with it. Okay let's put that up there and then we'll go to the puppet warp tool and again we need to increase that mesh and I probably don't need so many pins here so let me just remove a few of them by clicking and pressing delete. Okay, so I'm going to start with the word here and then I'm going to put a pin in there and the pin in here okay that maybe needs to come down a bit Okay, and another one, puppet walk tool, adjust the mesh, and start off with a, with a few pins, and then you can always add later. So this is going to go into this place. Okay, I'll do one more and then I'll leave you to get on with it. Um, it'll take me too long to do this uh, on the video, but it's really just repetition. So, oh, that's a bit too big. Okay, there we go. Um, and you just remove some of the unnecessary pins. Okay, so this one I'm going to put here. Okay, so what I want you to do is, using exactly the same process as this, I want you to fit into the shape of Africa all of those words, and you can fit them as tightly and as closely as you like, but basically the idea is to create the, the, the map of Africa out of words saying hello in the different languages of Africa. Then you can go back and hide the layer that contains the map of Africa, or well, I'm going to have to actually hide that Africa itself so object hide selection and I should actually see the shape of Africa in the shape of those words 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.